first topic of the day. Jason, yeah. what kind of message could Dallas send uh, to San Francisco and Philadelphia while they're watching Thursday Night Football? Mm -hmm. It's funny when you talk about Dallas and you're saying message and mm -hmm. it's a regular season game and it brings up the topic that we all love to talk about. Dallas can't send a message in this game, nor do they need to. They've been rolling as of late, and that's the only thing they can do. I feel like you go into this game against a Seattle team who's above 500, a good team, and if they beat up on them, you're like, all right, Dallas beat up on a good team, and they beat up on them good, one by plus 20 or whatever the case it may be. We'll come in here on Friday and we'll say, well, Seattle had already lost to. They're struggling to stay in the playoffs. Geno Smith is banged up. We'll come up with every and any excuse. And we'll be like, all right, Dallas, they're going to get their 12 wins in a regular season. We'll talk to me in January. So for me, as you watch this Dallas team, and they're continuing to play really well, Dak Prescott has been absolutely balling. If you have him in your fantasy league, you're looking at him, and he's putting up 30, 40 points week in and week out. As of late, that's all they can do. I don't think for them at this moment, it's like, all right, we have to continue to go out there and prove our doubters wrong. They're playing better football. They got beat up on by the Niners. They lost a close game to the Eagles, but they continue to show up week in and week out, and that's all they possibly can do. I don't think there's a message to be had. If they blow, they blow out Seattle, I don't think we come in here and we're like, all right, Dallas is for real. I do believe, me personally, that they are for real. They're real contenders in the NFC. I put them in the same boat as Philly and the 49ers. No, they don't have the record. They've lost to those teams, but they can compete with them. As it comes down the stretch, the Seattle game is kind of like that tune-up for Philly. And Dak kind of said it right there. Seattle needs this one more than us. This is a game you go out there, no matter how desperate they are, whatever the case it may be, you find a way to win this game knowing on the other side of it, you have a Philadelphia team that you've already lost to this season that you want to get back at and possibly have Philly drop some, then you split and you have a chance to win the division. Mm. I look at it this way. There are three things in like an order that matter when you look at that tournament picture and how it's going to come out. It's gonna, the bye matters, Yes. home field matters, yeah. and who you're matched up against matters. And if you're Dallas, you have to win these games because you might say, well, we're, we're two games behind the Eagles, and if they lose to San Francisco and we beat them, well, then yeah. we're tired. <sighs> okay. But here's the truth of the matter is, most likely if you're Dallas, you're going to have to go to San Francisco yeah. and to Philly mm -hmm. in the playoffs. Oh. You don't want to have to play a power like the Lions or someone else in that first round. You get the NFC South winner if you hold your court and you win, the, and you win these games at the mm -hmm. wild card. You Top wild card. NFC you want to play Atlanta. You want to play Tampa. You want to play New Orleans. Good you point. don't want to have to play the Lions or the 49ers or the, or, the, or the Eagles in that case. Yeah. So to me, it's like you've got to make a message to those two powers that we're here. We're ready again. This is different than last year. We're ready to go into your building and beat you. We're ready to host you if we somehow figure out the tournament and we get the one seed. But I think for me, like this message is more about we're just going to beat you up and down. I look at the second half of that Washington game on Thanksgiving. What'd you say? 45 million people watching. Yeah. Third most uh, Americans to ever watch a football game in the regular season. And guess what? They put on a show. And I promise you, I promise you there were 49ers players watching this game. And I promise you there were Eagles fit players watching this game. The 49ers guys were warming up against it for their Seattle game. The Niners guys, they were, uh, they were, I'm sorry, the Niners guys were warming up for the Seattle game. The Eagles guys were probably watching a little Bills tape but had this on in the corner. And it was domination. This would scare me. This would intimidate me. They say it's against Washington and the game got out of hand. That's fine. Guess what? They showed what they can do. And to me, Seattle coming in limping, two losses in five days, lost to the Rams, uh, lost to the 49ers. Go and take care of business. Mm -hmm. Blow out the Seahawks. Put a message out there and say, hey, yeah, we're, we're good taking on the NFC South winner like we did last year mm -hmm. and beat up on Tampa. But we're actually better than we were last year, and we could take you boys mm -hmm. on too if we had to. Mm -hmm. They need the win for the playoff standings, but, but no message. I don't see. I, you know yeah. what? Because like, the message has already been sent. We, we understand. They understand. Like, Dak is playing really well. Uh, the Cowboys have this, this second-year guy out of Fresno who turned into primetime. Like, they, they have an incredible team. We already know that. I don't think if they beat Seattle 31-13 to that the Eagles' text chain is going to be, wow, we really got to go to work this week. Did you see the – like, they get it. They understand. It's, it's already done. They're very good. Problem for Cowboys in terms of sending a message over is like Seattle stock is really down right now. Like yeah. it's just they've lost three out of four. They're not scoring on offense. So if you beat Seattle 31 to 13, great, good job. It, it's it's holding serve. The problem is is then you go lose to Philly 34 to 20. Yeah. I don't make the rules, guys. Like you have to get better as a team. There's a bunch of teams in the league right now who are not getting any better, 
in the year or year to year. It's just the same team. Don't go lose by two touchdowns to Philly. This is this is the Seattle thing. Fine, beat them. Respect. You're at home against a team that's suffering. Don't go lose by two touchdowns to Philly, or like y- you have everything. You got the quarterback. You got the coach. You got it, and you're not getting any better. And it's just it's all setting up for us to get burned by the Cowboys pizza again. Uh-oh. And here's what I mean. Like, the Cowboys are just this unbelievably beautiful slice of all-American pizza that every year gets set down next to us. It's just piping hot. It's got the toppings on the box and that little plastic table. And you're just like, I can't wait to tear into it. <laughs> and so you do. And you're like, this is great. And you tear into it. And you just burn the crap out of your mouth. And you're like... Next time, I'm not going to. I know better. I know I have to just cool pump down. the brakes a little bit. Just just a hot minute. Give yeah. it to cool down. And you don't. You, you don't. bite because you see that star, and it's packaged well, and there's, there's kettles and owners and all this stuff. <laughs> and you bite it, and you burn yourself again. And you just don't learn the lesson. This year, just try. Just, just for humor us. Try to not get fooled by the Cowboys pizza again. It's hot. It's going to burn you. You're, the rest of the pizza then afterwards tastes terrible because your mouth oh. is burned. Yeah. Uh, if they lose to Philadelphia by two touchdowns and they beat Seattle tomorrow, you got burned again. Just chill a little bit. We've done this every year. It's different this year. Yeah. It, this is, this is the year. I keep asking. That pizza is still piping hot. It's like they got the Pop-Tart filling in the pizza oh, somehow. I don't, the, the McDonald's 80s apple pie filling is in that pizza. It just nukes you. You went with the plastic yes. piece in the middle. Yeah, the yeah. little table. I know it, but. Sure. And they want a place at the table. And they, they, the I don't know if they're together. there. Yeah. Yes. Um, it, it makes not only the rest of the pizza taste not great, it's like for days on end you're reminded scarred. of the poor decision scarred. that you made. The toxic like Avengers in my mouth because yes, of the Cowboys. Yes, your mouth is all fuzzy and you're like, why did I yes. do that to myself? Trauma films. Um, yeah. I kind of disagree with you, though. I think they okay. have to do better than hold serve. Okay. I think 31-13 against the Seahawks would just be like, cool, Cowboys, to your point, like, are you still the typical Cowboys? They ha- they shut a team out this season, mm-hmm. and I think you either need to hold the Seahawks to, like, seven or fewer points. And if you can hold the Seahawks at home in, in Dallas to zero points, then you are likening them to the New York Giants game that you played in the first week of the season. I think this defense needs to make a statement. It's not only about the message that you send to your future opponents, it's the message that you send to yourselves internally, the swagger that you have when you do potentially have to go to San Francisco, when you do potentially have to go to Philadelphia. How are you feeling about the way that you were able to open a can of something on somebody in the regular season? And if your defense can hold a team that in the last four weeks the Seahawks have been held to three by the Ravens and 13 by the 49ers. That Ravens game should be the one that I'm circling if I'm the Dallas Cowboys. If the Baltimore Ravens can hold the Seahawks to three, then so can we at home. And if everyone else looks at Dak who's playing well and a defense that can have that kind of standard, then that would be a team that I would fear. You said a can of what? Just a can of something, something. Okay. Mm. You know, just it's 7 a.m. A can. <laughs> I want you to finish it. I can't no, whoop. No, just like Dak didn't finish the